Hi and welcome back to our channel, everyone. If you're new here, consider to subscribe to our channel for similar content. Today, we're tackling a topic that many of you have asked about what's the difference between organic homegrown food and grocery store food. We're going to dive into the benefits, the drawbacks, and everything in between. So, let's get started. The screen transitions to a close-up of a tomato, half-labeled, organic homegrown, and the other half-labeled, grocery store. First, let's talk about the most obvious difference where and how the food is grown. Organic homegrown food is produced right in your backyard, on your balcony, or even inside your home. It's a hands-on process where you control every aspect, from the soil quality to the types of fertilizers and pest control methods used. When you grow your own food, you have the peace of mind knowing exactly what's going into it. There's no mystery about pesticides, herbicides, or synthetic fertilizers, it's all natural, and it's all under your control. On the other hand, grocery store food, even if labeled organic, goes through a different process. While organic certification ensures that certain standards are met, including the use of non-GMO seeds and the avoidance of synthetic chemicals, there are still factors beyond your control. For example, the produce might be picked before it's fully ripe to survive transport and storage, potentially affecting its taste and nutritional value. Next, let's talk about taste and freshness. There's nothing quite like biting into a sun-ripened tomato straight from your garden. The flavor is often richer and more intense because the produce is allowed to fully ripen on the plant. Grocery store produce, on the other hand, is often harvested early and ripened off the vine, which can result in a milder taste. Take strawberries, for instance. Homegrown strawberries are usually smaller but pack a punch when it comes to flavor. They're juicy, sweet, and bursting with freshness. Store-bought strawberries might look perfect and uniform, but they often lack the same depth of flavor because they're bred for shelf life and transportability. Another major difference is the nutritional value. Studies have shown that organic homegrown produce can have higher levels of certain vitamins and minerals compared to their store-bought counterparts. This is partly due to the freshness factor, as nutrients start to degrade after harvest, and homegrown produce often goes from garden to table in a matter of minutes. Growing your own food also allows you to diversify your diet with heirloom and specialty varieties that you might not find in stores. These varieties can offer unique flavors and nutritional profiles, adding excitement and variety to your meals. Plus, there's the environmental impact to consider. Homegrown food reduces your carbon footprint since it doesn't require long-distance transportation or extensive packaging. It's a sustainable choice that benefits both you and the planet. And let's not forget about waste reduction. When you grow your own food, you can compost kitchen scraps and garden waste, creating a closed-loop system that enriches your soil and reduces landfill waste. It's a win-win! But it's not all sunshine and roses. Home gardening does require time, effort, and sometimes a learning curve. Pests, weather, and plant diseases can pose challenges. Grocery store food, while potentially less flavorful and nutritious, offers convenience and consistency that can be hard to match with a home garden, especially in urban settings or during the off-season.
Ultimately, the choice between organic homegrown food and grocery store food comes down to your personal preferences, lifestyle, and priorities. If you have the time and space, growing your own food can be incredibly rewarding and beneficial. But even if you rely on grocery stores, choosing organic options and supporting local farmers markets can help you get closer to the benefits of homegrown produce. Whatever you choose, the most important thing is to enjoy the process and the fruits and vegetables of your labor. I hope this video has shed some light on the differences between organic homegrown food and grocery store food. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips and insights into the world of gardening and sustainable living. And let us know in the comments what are your experiences with homegrown and store-bought produce. Eat right, enjoy gardening, and stay well.